YouTube, what is good? It is your boy. I am back yet again with another video. And in today's video, guys, we're just going to get right into it. As y'all guys know, I started a theme a while back, which is a sneaker line theme. And I did the uh, what, Allen Iverson, Grand Hill, and Penny Hardaway videos. And in today's video, we're going to get into this guy right here, Scottie Pippen, one of the 50 all-time greatest players. He's a six-time champion and also one of the greatest on-ball defenders of all time, guys. And so without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get right into it. The Scottie Pippen sneaker line. So before we get started, I want to go ahead and lay this out now. I am actually talking about the actual signature shoes of Scottie Pippen. Now, I know a lot of people are going to probably say, hey, why didn't you mention the Air of Tempos or the Air Swifts? Those are shoes that he did wear, but I want to focus more on his actual signature shoe. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into it with this first shoe. The first shoe we got up is the Nike Air Pippen 1s. These were Pippen's very first signature shoe, named after him. They were originally came out in 97, but also retroed in 2008. Now, I know you guys look at this shoe and say, what the? I know, they're a little bulky. But like you guys probably heard me say before on previous videos, they focus more on balance, you know, rather than kind of sleekness and speed. So, you know, with back in those days, it was more about power. Like the, the paint presence was a little bit more prominent back then as it compared to today, where it's more, you know, threes and spread out, you know. So keeping your balance was a little bit more important when people trying to get you off the block, you know. But yeah, this is Scottie Pippen's first signature shoe. And they, like I said, they released in 97. So up next, guys, we have these. We have the Scotty Pippen 2s. These were the first uh, shoe to ha uh, feature the uh, Zoom Air in the Scotty Pippen uh, line. And they also were designed by Aaron Cooper. And they were the first to have the signature 33 graphic logo on it. So, uh, yeah, these were a lot sleeker compared to the first ones. So with the, these, these kind of did help with, uh, you know, being agile and, you know, kind of moving around a little bit faster and kind of help with the speed, the way that the, the shape of the shoe was made. It did help with a lot of that. And so I, I think I like this shoe a little bit better. I think this one was kind of a little bit more known uh, amongst the Scotty Pippen sneaker line that a lot of people know. I know some friends now who kind of wish they did jump on these shoes when they released. But uh, yeah, th these are the uh, Scotty Pippen 2s. These are a little bit more known than the rest of the Scotty Pippen shoes. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get into the next shoe. The next shoe is the Nike Air Pippen 3s. These went back to the bulky side. And believe it or not, back in 99 when these first released, they retroed at 125. Now, I know a lot of people probably are thinking 125 is nothing. But at that time, that was a that was a nice little hunk of change back in the late 90s. Uh, now, yeah, today 125, you could probably get some PGs or some Kevin Durant for that price. But that's, that's nothing, you know. We used to seeing sneaker prices up in the 200s, up to close to you know maybe 500. And we're not talking about the retail. I mean, we're not talking about resale. We're talking about retail. And so, with that, you know, this shoe was a big deal back when it came out. Um, like I said, it came, went back more to the bulkier side, which I didn't understand why they did that. When you, you went from bulky to sleek and back to bulky, does not make sense to me. But hey, to each his own, I guess. It was, you know, Scotty Pippen didn't complain about it, so there you go. So these are the Nike Air Pippen 3s. So let's go ahead and get into the next shoe, guys. So up next, we have the Nike Air Pippen 4s. So... This was not a very popular shoe. A lot of people did not like this shoe. Was not the prettiest of shoes. Um, I, I believe this was the shoe that didn't get a lot of uh, detail to it uh, due to, I'm trying to remember, I think it was a lockout was that year. And so Nike and I think Pippen and those, his, his team just didn't really pay as much attention to this shoe. It just kind of got thrown out there whenever the season started. So it was not the popular shoe at that time. 
and which is understandable you know i mean a lot of players were focused on other things at that time you know with the lockout and worried about trying to get some money you know what i mean so yeah these these were not very popular not my favorite shoe um kind of on the basic side but like i said you know it was something that nike kind of didn't pay too much attention to at that time which is understandable so with that being said guys these are the nike air pippin fours let's go ahead and get into the next shoe next up we got the nike air pippin fives so with these guys these had like a shroud over them which kind of resembled at that time the gary payton gloves um ray didn't like this shoe i do remember when this shoe released i did not like this shoe and it was just something about that time where shoes had to have shrouds over on the white it was like a big deal because like you said you had the uh gary paytons and even at one point with reebok sean kemp the rain man's had shrouds on them at one point and like i said it was just something about having a shroud over your shoe i guess it was just for a look because it really didn't do anything with performance or anything like that so but yeah this was these were the pippin uh, fives um like i said not a popular shoe to me uh didn't really care too much for them i never even looked in the direction of these shoes so there you go and guys next up we have this shoe the very last shoe in the scotty pippen uh line and that is the scotty pippen sixes so these were released in 2015 so kind of like the the penny hardaways like the last two uh sneakers in the penny hardaway line you like these scotty pippins nike decided to uh, revive the sneaker line by adding the scotty pippin sixes so this is not a shoe that he actually wore the scotty pippin fives were the last ones that he actually wore but i'm not gonna lie to y'all man these are nice these are very nice i didn't even i remember this shoe but i guess i didn't pay too much attention to the shoe it uh like i said it released in 2015 and it came out in different colorways after that and so i like this colorway right here this is more of the chicago colorway I'm not gonna lie to y'all i might look on stock x or something to see if they got pairs on there or maybe even go but this is a nice pair of shoes right here man uh kind of wish i did jump on these but like i said he did not wear these shoes that came out in 2015 it was just something about maybe trying to bring back the nostalgia of the 90s and of certain players who impacted the game in the 90s kind of like what they did with penny when releasing the last two sneakers of his shoe and just like this with scotty pippen so with that being said guys that is the last shoe of his uh, signature shoe line so guys i'm glad y'all guys were here to rock with me i hope you guys enjoyed and with that being said guys please like and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this i'm gonna try to look into some more uh signature shoe lines i'm gonna try to do some that's gonna kind of go you know go like left field you know a lot of uh shoes that you guys probably forgot about or didn't know about i'm gonna try to touch on some of those and with that being said guys also please follow the seat at the table podcast guys you can watch the videos here on the glow sun Protect. Uh, excuse me the glow sun production channel or you can listen to it on various podcast streaming services guys that's the seat at the table podcast you can look it up under either seat at the table or you can look it up under glow sun production and with that being said guys i am out it is your boy real and i'll see you guys again soon